This summer's devastating derailment in Lac Mégantic, Quebec, has raised questions about the safety of carrying oil by rail over long distances. Now, a right-leaning think tank concludes pipelines are safer. But as Francis Savaggio reports, while the findings may be tacit support for more pipelines, opponents are quick to say, not so fast. With oil production only expected to grow, a new report suggests industry and government take a closer look at transportation. We are assuming, as does the U.S. State Department, that bitumen is going to move out of Canada and be sold into world markets. The only question is how. According to the Fraser Institute, road transport is the riskiest. 20 incidents per billion tons of oil moved. Rail is safer, just two incidents per billion tons, while pipelines are the safest, just 0.6 incidents. No matter how you cut it, it's safer to put it in a pipeline and pump it through than it is to load it into trucks or load it into rail cars. But environmental groups say less risk is not the same as no risk. If it's just talking about, you know, the lesser of two evils, that doesn't really mean we should be pursuing either of them. In fact, others say the report fails to question whether we should be moving oil at all. Fossil fuel extraction has dangers associated with it. And if they want to have a real conversation about the choices we're facing, then we should be talking about whether we're going to lock ourselves into decades more worth of this high carbon intensive fuel that we can't transport safely, period. The Fraser Institute, though, says given world demand, that's not realistic, nor is the idea of zero risk. The important public policy decision is not can we live in a world where there are no accidents and there is no environmental impact and there is no danger. It's are we making the decisions that lead us toward the path of greatest safety, greatest environmental protection. The report is by no means suggesting abandoning rail or trucking. In fact, in order to meet expected growth, industry expects all forms of transport will need to grow as well. Francis Silvaggio, Global News. Calgary.